Hi, my name is Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to show you how to slice using GIMP and how to turn that into a website. All right, so the first thing you need to do is make your image, which I've done here. I've actually just taken a screenshot of a piece of my website, and I'm imagining that this is going to be my new website, or that I'm just slicing this up in GIMP. All right, very simple to do this. So the first thing you want to do is create guides. There are a couple of ways to create guides. You can go to Image, Guides, and you can create a new guide by percent. You can create a new guide by pixel, by place on the screen, or you can create one from selection. If you did it by selection, you would simply select something and create the guide. You'd go to Image, Guides, New Guide from Selection. I'm actually going to do none of that. So what I'm going to do, I'm making sure I'm deselected, is I am actually just going to go up to the ruler here on the screen and drag guides down from the screen. So each square here will be one image. So I'm going to divide first divide the screen up into three sections. So we have one, two, three. Three rows go across. So these will each be an image. But then I need to break it up vertically too. So I'm going to just drag guides onto the screen because I want each one of these buttons to also be an image. Now, the disadvantage is you can now see this is three images. So I may have to do this actually do this whole process several times to get each one of my images. And to get rid of one of these guides, I simply just drag it. I make sure I'm on the move tool up here and I can simply move it around. I can take it off the screen, get rid of it. All right, once I'm done and I've sliced my image up the way I wanna slice it, I'm gonna to go to filters, web, slice. I'm gonna choose the folder I want it to be sliced on. I'm going to choose the name of the file. For this example, I'm just going to keep this as slice and slice here. Do you want GIF, JPEG, or PNG? Um, for the web, I'm going to choose JPEG. You could choose PNG as well. Do I want a separate image folder? Yes, I do. So I'm actually selected on yes. Because right now we're selected on no. Now we're selected on yes. I do want a separate image folder. What do I want the name of that folder to be? Images. Do I want space between the table elements? So it creates a dummy web page for you to edit. So I don't want any space. That would like actually create a line, like a separation of pixels here between each one of these images. So if I picked five, there'd be a five space here between each of these. I'm just going to keep it as zero. And I'll keep the little JavaScript on mouse thing because realistically, if I was turning this into a website, I would pull it in the Dreamweaver and edit it or use code. So I'm not going to worry too much about the code. I'm more or less worried about breaking up all the images. I'm going to click OK. Let's open up our folder, see what we've created. It cr automatically creates this file called slice.html, and here's each of my images broken up. We can open up the actual web page, and you can see what it looks like. I can right click, and we can see the source. You can take a look at what the code looks like when you actually do this. HTML snippet generated by GIMP. And notice, this is not a fully valid HTML document. So you need to, once you do this, you've broken up your images, you need to pull this into a software like Dreamweaver, pull it in a notepad, and you need to finish making this a web page. So GIMP does a good job of starting. If you want it to make a complete web page, that is possible too, but now all of a sudden you need to download some extra uh, modifications for GIMP. It's not, you can't really do it well by default. All right, thank you.